Hey, you guys. Okay. Um, we are trying to get settled. I'm using a new streaming platform so I could try to like go live on all the platforms all at the same time. So give me a moment while I just like double check some things, make sure like I'm in, <laughs> I'm in all the platforms first. Okay. So <clears throat> Let's do a little check. Um, okay, boom. I see y'all. Okay, boom. I see y'all. <laughs> okay, boom. I see y'all. <laughs> okay, there goes a the double sound. All right. <laughs> okay, there goes a the double sound. All right. Hey, hey, I see we have a viewer. I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to like get everything acclimated. Make sure that I'm on these platforms correctly. Um, <clears throat> give me a moment. And if you guys are on, let me know where you're watching from. Let me see if I can figure out how to get to my chat. And if you guys are and, um. Now, let me check elsewhere. Sure, like okay. Iber. Awesome. I'm also in the God Powered Group. Awesome. I'm also in the God Powered Group. Now, I just want to check YouTube. Okay, I think that's where I'm seeing some yeah, folks from. Okay. If you guys are on, drop something in the chat, y'all, so I could see the chat. Oh, I see the chat. Okay. Cool. The chat pulled up. Let me know where you guys are watching from. I see some people are rolling in. Good evening. Good evening. Someone said, hey, Facebook. Hey, awesome. Good evening. Thank y'all for joining. It's a, it's a Friday night. <laughs> And y'all are on here. Okay. Awesome. So for those that do not know or was not a part, I had did a challenge on last week um, in the midst of a super crazy, crazy week. I did a challenge, right? Um, but I did a challenge. Hey, North Carolina. All right. What part of North Carolina? You know, I lived in Greensboro. I loved North Carolina. Um, Dallas. Hey, Dallas, ATL, Dallas, Dallas. All right. Dallas in the house. Is, are y'all tired of the heat? Look, I am tired of the heat. I'm tired of the heat. I'm tired of my water bill being super high. <laughs> I'm tired of the, my power bill being super high. Y'all, I am tired of this heat. If y'all are in Dallas, y'all feel me. Okay. Um, but I did this challenge on last week and um, this challenge was much, much different than I normally do, right? Um, hey, Los Angeles, all right. Um, girl, that electric bill, I'm sorry, I can't see the name. I like to see the Facebook user, but my bad. But that electric bill, okay, I had to like save up for the electric bill. But um, I did this challenge on last week, and it's much different than I normally do, because normally, you guys, I do like the how to launch a six-figure cleaning company, and I teach on a... A level to where people can understand what I'm teaching in, in depth, but like if they want to really, really can do this business, like they can do it on their own. Like that's what the challenge is about. Like, can you, can you take the information and can you run with it? That's what those challenges are typically about. VIP, get access to more information. But this challenge that I did was super different. Okay. Um, because as I work with a lot of different people, I get a, a much more insight on the individual right? And I get a much more deeper insight on the actual individual and not just um, like the business owner, the person that has a di desire to open and launch a thriving, successful business. But I get to see like, what's the person's mindset? Like, what's their, what are they motivated by? What are, what, what are some of their fears? What are some of their setbacks? What are some of the things that cause delays, right? And so I did this challenge where it was mostly on the person that was holding them back versus the business holding them back, 
right? Um, and it was called the God Powered Business. For y'all that don't know, look, I am a Jesus lover, okay? And I really wanted to help people in that area. So I opened it up. I was like, hey, whoever wants to join this challenge, y'all come in and we're going to do this challenge. We had over a thousand people sign up, which was amazing. I didn't even think that many people was going to sign up. Um, and we did this little nice little email challenge and it gave some instructions and it gave some assignments and some homework and people were doing the homework because that's where it really matters. You're not going to see the difference until you do the things, right? So many times people want to be something, right? I want to be great. I want to be disciplined. I want to be more structured. I want to be organized. I want to be successful. I want to be a millionaire, but we can't be the things until we do the things. Like sometimes we got that equation, little flip backwards, upside down, flip it around, okay? We have to do the things in order to be the thing, right? And it takes time, it takes consistency, it takes patience, it takes a mindset, it takes belief. And we we tackled all of that during this challenge. And it caused some people to like really dig deep right? To to allow themselves to see themselves and be a little vulnerable with themselves, to share those vulnerabilities so that way other people can see them and be inspired and be encouraged to do the same thing and do the work. So that's what that challenge was, right? It was like people thought they was coming for a business challenge, <laughs> not knowing that they was like really coming for a self-challenge. But I know that the ones that did the work, that did the things, right, that actually devoted their time to do the things, I know they're going to see a difference, um, not only showing up in their business, but also in their personal life. I'm a, such a strong and firm believer that working on you is working on your business because we can only go as far as our belief will allow us to go to, as our mindset will allow us to go to, right? I can tell every single person right now that, hey, you can today launch a six-figure business, right? And you can be hyped about it. You can be stoked about it. You may receive it and you may not. You may receive it on a surface level, but that's maybe as far as it'll go. But like, those that really take heed to that and truly, truly believe it, those that can like bet, let's go, green light all the way, those are the ones that's going to have their actions match that belief. But if we just fake belief and just, oh, okay, yeah, girl, six figures, boom, 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 then, and we don't really, really believe it in like the depths of our heart, like truly, truly believe it, then our actions won't line up with that. And we'll only do as far as where we think we can go. So we really have to work here first, right? Like it's the body only goes where the mind tells it to go. It's not opposite because that's the case. Look, <laughs> I would have been done drop these little 50 pounds, okay? No, the mind tells the body where to go. And as strong as the mind is, then that's as strong as the body will be and everything else in it. If you have a strong mindset, your mindset has de developed a level of perseverance, it has de developed a level of grit, it has, then your body and every action will follow. Your work ethic will look different. Your relationship will look different. Your temper will look different. Your mindset will look different, but it starts here first. So we did this challenge. It was a five-day challenge. I popped in live and I did a live training inside of the Facebook group. And um, it was just dope. I, I really loved it. I had a good time. I love reading everybody's homework. I got a chance to chat with some people. They emailed me and they're like, yo, Jazz, this challenge really stretched me. And I'm, I'm not all the way there yet to share it with you. But can I email you? I'm like, yes, email me, right? Because I, I've been there. I have been there. The, the most thing that helped me back, you guys, in my business was me. Me. I was the only thing holding myself back. And every attribute that I thought was my greatest was actually my weakest. Every area where I thought that would make me successful did not. And I learned from like different things that I had to deal with in life. I learned how to persevere. I learned how to, how to like tunnel vision. I learned how to fake it till I make it, right? Y'all know that saying. That's not really a good saying, right? But I, I learned these things. And as I was developing and growing in business and, and whatever business I was growing in at that time, um, God really had to tell me was like, look, you're your greatest weakness. And you can only grow as, as much as 
you can go because I'm trying to take you where I want you to go, but you won't follow because of your limited belief or because of your fear or because of your low self-esteem or because of your lack of confidence. And I was like, ouch, okay. Like I could be in a room with a hundred people and nobody would know on the inside, I'm questioning while I'm there. I'm questioning my worthiness. I'm questioning if I belong. I'm questioning if if I'm like dressed for the occasion. Like, is anybody looking at me sideways? But on the outside, I'm like, talk of the town. I'm like, people person, talking it up with all the people. But on the inside, I'm just, thank you, in imposter syndrome, I'm just like dealing with all these things. And we use imposter syndrome as this word and trendy entrepreneurship, but in all actuality, it's fear, it's stronghold, it's trauma, it's, it's, it's these adversaries, it's, it's all of these things. So during uh, the pandemic, when I didn't have nothing but time, I worked on myself. And I didn't even really believe or think that like I needed like mindset, because I was like, oh, I knew how to drive. I knew how to, if all else fell, I knew how to go, right? But I didn't know that I was always hitting roadblocks. And these roadblocks was myself because I would only go so far into where I felt like I didn't belong or I wasn't worthy or I couldn't access all of that, right? Oh, I could do six figures all day, every day. But like, did I believe for more? It was like six figure plateau, six figure plateau, six figure six figure plateau, and I was just like, I, I just couldn't get over that hump of like where it is I was really trying to go. And if y'all don't know, like six figures is not six the same six figures as it was like eight nine years ago, baby. Okay, a <laughs> hundred thousand dollars is not the same hundred thousand dollars that it used to be. This inflation ain't no joke. All right, I went to go get bread and it was four dollars and twenty two cents. And it wasn't even like the like the fancy bread with the oats on the top. This was like honey wheat bread, okay? $4.22. And I had to get milk, and that was $3.50. And y'all, I was at Walmart. This was a fast, fast pickup, okay? So, but I knew that like I was not going far. But I knew like God has so much more in store for me. I, I knew that like, oh my goodness, what he has and the intentions that he has for me is is more than I could ever think of, right? He tells us that in his word, right? That our thoughts are not his thoughts, but he has so much for me, but he's like, you're stopping yourself. And I can't take you there till you allow me because he's gentle. He's not going to rush anybody. And it took me a long time. And it was one of the most uncomfortable seasons that I had to be in. It was, it was a, a, a whew. Look, I can't even like say the words. Okay, that's that's the kind of season to be in that awareness of my actions or my limited beliefs or to to know that Jasmine, you you don't have, you ain't got enough self esteem to hold your head up, girl. Like what? Let's 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 figure this out. Where is your confidence in yourself, right? And I had to really deal with those areas and deal with my trust and deal with my faith and understand. Um, that I can sing and praise God and, you know, say that I have faith. But look, I can only trace, look, my trust went as far as I could trace him, okay? <laughs> it did. It really did. And still in those areas, he's still having to work on my trust because it's like, okay, God, I can trust you for this because I've seen you do this. But don't let me, don't let, don't let me like put me out there in left field in the middle of the dark. I'd be like, hold on, maybe I can, oh no, are you, where you at? Are you coming through? You say you beside me, you never going to leave me. What you doing? I don't see you right and in business we are challenged all the time business you guys will show us and show you your true colors believe it or not it will show you where you're good at and where you're not okay it will show you yourself it will mirror you in a way to where i've never seen anything like that done before it will look if you pay attention you'll be able to see it right if you never if you always be like oh no i got confidence or oh no i'm i'm not a procrastinator oh no i don't have fear L look at yourself and how you do business and you'll be able to see i believe that business is spiritual and the act of him calling us to the marketplace to be able to change the path of us like using our hands and using the abilities and the gifts and everything that he placed inside of us so 
that's what that challenge was. <laughs> and if you guys missed it, send me a message or send me an email. I will be doing the challenge again. I don't know when, probably next month sometime. But if you guys are on this live now, you're like, yo, Jazz, I need that. Like, please, please, please send me an email, info at ceocleaningacademy.com. And I will uh, put you on the thread. And that way you can at least get those emails and you guys can see um, you can see what was going on in the challenges and the assignments, um, because those assignments was no joke. And I, I was super excited to see people actually doing the assignments because that's, that's where it counts the most. Okay. But, um, you know, I wanted to bring it all together because I know I shared in the beginning of the challenge, I shared this story and some people messaged me like, Oh, I heard that story before my pastor just shared that story, but I heard this story and it really tripped me up right at the end of it. And this story was talking about this guy and he's like in the middle of nowhere and this and it's flooding and it's raining, it's pouring down raining and it's flooding and he's in the middle of nowhere and he's praying and he's asking God like, God, come save me, come save me. And God's like, yeah, I got you. I'm going to save you. I got you. Don't trip. Like, you know, don't worry. I got you. And then a boat comes, right, with these people in the boat, like, hey, sir, come get in the boat. We're headed to shore. We're headed to safety. Like, come get in the boat. And he's like, no, 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 I got it. It's okay. God's going to save me. And like, you sure? Like, you sure? You sure? He's like, yeah, I got it. God, God said he's going to save me. So the boat leaves. Another boat comes. Later, the water's rising. It's coming up to his, you know, coming up to his chest. And he's trying to get out. He's like wondering, like, all right, God, you say you're going to save me. What's going on? Another boat comes and these people are in the boat like, hey, sir, want to come get in the boat? We're headed to safety. Like, come get out the rain. Like, please get in. We'll, we'll take you to safety with us. You're like, no, 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 I got it. Right now at this time, he's starting to worry. Right. He's starting to question God. He's starting to get frustrated. He's starting to get mad. He's like, look here, God, you said you was going to save me. He's, you know, like just upset. And we do that sometimes. Right. We will we will pray and ask God to deliver us or to help us, to bring us through, to bless us, to come help us. Like just, yo, come see about me. Come see about your daughter, Jasmine, right? And, um, but we always assume how it's going to look. So this third boat come, the water is coming up. He's starting to th tread water. It's coming up to his chin. And the people are like, hey, come get in the boat. I'm trying to sit, you know, like, I want to save you. Like, we're headed to shore. Like, please come get in the boat. Like, no, no, no. God said he's going to save me. You guys, the boat leaves off and now he's just hot, right? The water's coming up higher and now he's just like forsaking. I'm like, what are you doing? Where are you at? And God's like, what are you talking about? I sent you three boats. Like, you ignore them, right? I sent you three boats. What are you talking about? So, you know, in 2018, 17, I went through a period of my life where it was probably one of the worst uh, financial periods of my life ever. I just had my youngest, Jay Savory, and um, my husband was a truck driver and he was working in the oil field and he's trying to get work. And right, you know, we we just got to Texas from California, we're like we're going to go work in the oil. That's all we hear about Texas, oil and land, all right, in the Cowboys. And, um, but he's not getting work. And the bills are stacking up, okay? And I'm not working because I got this new baby, right? And um, we started losing things. I remember when the car, when the first car got repoed and my son is like, mom, where's the car? <laughs> I don't know if any of that, anybody ever had that situation for me, but you know, the kids always be asking <laughs> questions and I was like, be quiet, don't worry about it. But mom, Where's the car? <laughs> Without you telling, like, yeah, okay, the repo man came and got the car, son. Well, who's the repo man? <laughs> and, you know, the, the second car leaves. And I remember when we got the eviction notice, I was walking up the stairs with groceries and I had Jace Avery on my hip and I saw that pink paper on the door. I saw it from as I was walking upstairs. I already knew what it was. And my heart just like synced. And it was like just that gut wrenching feeling call Ricky. And I'm just like crying and bawling. And I'm still praying and asking God, like, God, what are you doing? Like you said, you was going to come help me. Like, what, what is this going? When are you coming? And I remember having to go to the judge and go to the court and I'm, I'm begging and asking him for more time. Like I just need more time. And I remember him with this deep scratchy voice and he was just so firm, just felt so heartless. And he was like, no, ma'am, the order remains to stand the same. 
And I always repeat those words the same because that's exactly that. The order remains to stand the same. And I was just devastated. I went to the car and I probably sat in the car about two hours after just bawling, crying. I didn't know what to do. And maybe it was probably emotions and postpartum, but I was just devastated. And um, my husband is still out in West Texas. I'm in Dallas. And um, we lost our home and everything in it. Because like I just said, we came here from California. Now, luckily, my parents moved with us. And my parents were staying in a one, uh, two-bedroom, one-bath apartment, very small apartment that all of us moved in with them. And um, my husband was still out trying to find work, right? He's trying everything. And um, I just remember, you know, us moving in there with everything that we could and everything else we let go. And um, I was just like up in the middle of the night, just pacing, right? Them heavy footsteps in the middle of the night, just praying and asking God, like, God, what are you doing? Like, why is this happening? Like, what did we do? What did I do? Right? We always start thinking that we did something, right? We always start thinking that this is punishment. Like, did I, like, did I do something that I wasn't aware of? Like, please let me know so I can fix it, right? But it's, it's like... We always assume that God is going to save us how we think he's going to save us. And I knew that this had to be God because I would have never done this without this being the situation. But, you know, like when you get in a desperate situation, desperate times call for desperate measures. And God was like, use your hands and and clean, like start a cleaning business. And I'm like, what? I've been in business. I love business. I've been in entrepreneurship. I got a chance to witness my dad being an entrepreneur. And um my my nana, she was uh, a, a janitor for a college back in Compton. And um, I witnessed my parents work hard their whole life. I used to go to the grocery to the corner store back home in Sacramento and help my mom bag groceries as she was leaving from her first job, working at the high school, going to the second job. After she went to go prepare dinner, had it sit on the table, and then she went to the second job and worked at the corner store. And I would go there and I would help her back. So I see my parents work hard. So I was I wasn't the type of person that was like, oh, I, I'm I'm too good for this, right? But I'm like, what? Like that's what you want me to do? Like to clean house? Who is paying people to clean their house? Like I clean my own house. I seen people my people clean their own. I never seen. I've never witnessed anybody having somebody come clean their house. But I'm like, okay, God, like you said, you're going to do it. Like this is what, this is what you say you're gonna, I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. That's one thing I learned and I'm going to be obedient. <laughs> I'm going to listen and I'm going to do exactly what he says to do. And um, so not knowing anything, I literally just started researching and Googling things and it didn't even take me much time because I'm not a time taker. Okay. I do not waste time. And I found a place where it said to find clients and then i found a place and then i went i didn't have much so i went to the dollar store i got me some uh fabuloso i got me a mop a bucket a broom and i brought my mom's vacuum and i went to work y'all oh my goodness i cleaned some of the most nastiest houses i wish i would have the pictures to show y'all because y'all would not believe me okay um but i cleaned some of the most nastiest houses and i called my husband i was like honey god told me to clean houses and it started cleaning business so i'm just gonna do it like you keep working, you figure it out. I'm a, I'm gonna figure it out, okay? And um, as the business started growing, I'm like, honey, I made eight hundred dollars today. He was like, doing what? <laughs> I was like cleaning houses, and I got a tip too. And um, he was just like, are you sure you're not doing anything else? He could, he almost couldn't believe it, right? And the business grew so fast, you guys. Within 30 days, we had we were living in a two bedroom, small two bedroom bath apartment. We had moved into a five bedroom, three bath house, over 3,000 square feet house. Within a month, you guys, that was how fast and how much money I made in that short amount of time. See, you know, like I said, we always assume how we think God is going to bless us. God knew that he needed to bring me to that place so I can hear those words because any any other place, I would have been like, I don't know, God, I don't think I heard you right. Or are you? is that for somebody else? Am I supposed to tell that to somebody else? Because you definitely ain't talking to me. I just got this new baby, right? I can come up with every excuse in the book. He knew that I would not have listened let it have been another situation. So I, I, in the, in the way, right at the time I was look hot, 
But right now in these moments, I can understand and I'm so appreciative when people are like, I, I thank God for the way that he takes me, right? I thank God for the way that he takes me. And for a long time, I used to hate that statement just for some of the things that I've been through in my life. And I'm like, I mean, I don't thank him. I'm grateful I'm still here, <laughs> right? I mean, look, I'm a girl that grew up in not a really good safe area. I, I look my life. I look nothing like the things that I had to been through, and I thank God for that. But I, I can appreciate that statement. And then years later, years later, as I as God is dealing with me, if you guys missed the, the earlier statement, this will stay on here so you guys can hear hear what we were talking about earlier. But um, the years later, that's when God started working on me, right? This is where like, look here, God, I'm doing six figures every year, every year, every year. I'm not getting past that threshold. And he's like, you are holding yourself back. So during that time when he started working on me, he started working on my self-esteem and my confidence and healing me in areas that I didn't even know that I needed healing in and, and, and bringing light to areas that was so dark and deep and down and hidden that I didn't even know were there, right? Sometimes we have the misunderstanding of healing, right? Sometimes we think that healing is alignment with like major trauma that we went through. But you know, healing could be any areas in your life that you perceived as trauma, that you yourself, we are all entitled of our own emotions, right? But that's why we have God's word to anchor us, to make sure that our emotions, we can identify our emotions or we can identify it as an attack. And with us perceiving what hurt us, can all be based upon like what we went through, the our age, right? Like my 11, eight-year-old mindset perceiving self could have perceived something that could have been meant good for me, but I perceived it as negative. And I took that on and that then became my trauma, right? So sometimes we misconstrued what trauma really is. All it is is anything that negatively impacted your life that has continued on into your adulthood and you take those same isms on, right? So God had to deal with me in those areas, right? And after he dealt with me in those areas, pandemic came through really tough, then it lifted, right? And what was people doing during the pandemic? People was getting their house cleaned. And so after, after that, he was like, now teach it. And I'm like, teach what? <laughs> he was like, teach, teach, teach the business, teach what you learned, teach and tell everybody what you learned. And um, I'm like, no, I ain't doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. But I was in a financial situation because pandemic came, right? Everything was locked down, shut down. We grabbed some commercial contracts. I was able to withstand, but not at the level that it used to be. Um, so then again, I'm in this situation, right? And I'm like, all right, God, you said teach, I'm going to teach it. But I would not have been able to go forth like I have been if he wouldn't have first dealt with me. And then because out the insecurity, y'all, was real. The, the low self-esteem and the no confident self, Jasmine, was real to the double capital R, okay? And um, I... I thought to myself after teaching other individuals how to do this, but I had to test it out. Like, okay, God, like, I don't even know. Like, I don't even really know. Like, what, what am I telling them? I'm just, I'm just going to just basically, I had to test it to see if I could teach them and they can duplicate the outcome just to make sure that, you know, you weren't just showing me favor, right? But um, I he had a, he told me, he was like, you are so selfish, I'm like, what? God, my goodness. He always just getting on me. He was like, because you thought that this was only meant for you, right? And when we think about testimonies and how people are saved, healed, and delivered by the words of other people's testimonies, I am now able to share my story and what I went through, how I came out, and then tell people the tools that I use to be able to get me out of that situation. So he's like, teach it. And I was so selfish to think that God only did that for me, that he only brought that business idea to me and not for me to like, just for me just to hoard it and just keep it. But like, it wasn't even meant only for me, but it was meant for me to teach other people how to do the same thing. And I've been so blessed to be able to do that. 
And uh, we recently just passed our year anniversary of the CO Clean Academy. And you guys, we, I, I, I thought I had a head count number because I was, you know, just doing some maintenance and some things like that. But um, we have taught over six, six or 700 students, you guys, in the CO Clean Academy. And I'm just so, so grateful um, because he continues to stretch me outside of my comfort zone because every time he tells me to do something, I'm like, no, I ain't doing that. <laughs> because you guys, in all actuality, I really am shy. Now I have grown from my insecurities and I have grown in my level of confidence, but your girl is a homebody. I am a shy homebody to where I would choose not to go or do anything, <laughs> but he continues to stretch me. And when I had this challenge, I was really excited for this challenge in particular because the two things that I can talk about every single day is business and Jesus. Okay, don't don't start talking about those two things. And and I, look, y'all not gonna be able to get me to shut my mouth. So when I was asked to do a challenge like this, <clears throat> it challenged me first, and I really had to pray, just meditate, and fast on and like what I was gonna talk about and ask God and consult with Him. And um, when he gave me that challenge, I was super excited about it because everything that I taught or talked about in that challenge was the very same steps that I personally went through in my life during that season when I had to grow. And um, and I understand going through that season is not easy. It's it's harder doing that than it is actually having a business, right? I would rather open up 10 businesses. <laughs> I understand the benefit of it is going to outweigh, you know, the hardship of having to endure, having to come out, but it's a hard process to go through. If you will willingly go through the process, you have to desire the change and the outcome, right? For your life to really actually do the work. So, in that the first day of the challenge, I, I shared that story about the man with the boat. And then I told you guys that I was going to present to you guys a lifeboat. And I wanted to challenge you guys to take heed of the lifeboat and not to miss the lifeboat. Uh, because this was my lifeboat. This business literally changed my entire life. It changed my family's life. It changed people's life that God has brought into me to bless them financially life, you guys. Um, I have grown so many other businesses from this business. Um, this business was literally just, just the cleaning of the house was just just a, a stepping stone, right? I remember I, I needed help to clean a very large home. So I called my friend. I was like, yo, can you come help me? And the one thing I never did was tell people that I was the actual owner. So I remember we were cleaning this house and this couple was like, maid, maid, maid. <laughs> and, and my friend was like, look, if they call me maid one more time, right? I'm like, girl, hush your mouth. First of all, okay, because we're going to get a tip, okay? But um, it, that moment just humbled me so much. Um, even though in the back of my mind, I'm like, I'm the rich maid. Okay. But no, it, it humbled me so much because I didn't mind serving because I knew that one day I was going to be able to serve so many other people and serving is serving. It doesn't matter what capacity to have a servant's heart. I can be cleaning the toilet or I can be on here teaching on a Friday night. Right. Um, but I love the experience that I have that experience. Uh, with launching my cleaning companies and growing in and teaching it. Now I'm able to come and share my stories and my experiences and what worked and what didn't work and give you the blueprint. So that way you can avoid some of the same stumbling blocks that I had to. So I wanted to talk about the formula for a six figure business. And this business concept, you guys, is not new. There are a lot of companies utilizing the same exact formula, Uber, Airbnb, Amazon, and Lyft, right? And the one thing that these companies have in common that you guys may be aware of is that they don't own their product. Uber doesn't own a car. Uber doesn't have an employee. Amazon, they don't have actual physical products. Yes, they, they just are developing their own in-house products, but majority of their products are not their own, right? Airbnb, they don't own a house. Lyft, they don't own a car, but these companies are 
million dollar, multi-million dollar companies without having to own a actual product itself, right? When you think about how this works, right? You think about this is a, I wanted to use like a basic model of something that somebody could all, can easily understand. So Uber is the company, it's the brand. Then you have the drivers and you have the riders, okay? So the driver works under this brand and Uber pays this driver a percentage of the service that the client is paying them, right? The client books or the rider books the Uber on the app. Y'all probably booked the Uber before, right? And then Uber guarantees a timely and safe travel, right? The driver makes sure that Uber standards are met and the riders in the car is owned by the driver. This is the same exact model that I have personally helped all of these companies with, okay? These are some of the companies that I have done like an actual done for you service for. And there are several other, these are just the fast logos that I could find in the fast, right? But you guys, the cleaning industry, this is this was information that I did not even know at the time. Look, all God said was clean houses. So I, I got, I went to the dollar store. I got the supplies. I got the equipment. I literally Googled where to find cleaning client. That's all I did. And it said thumbtacked. I asked my mom to borrow $25. I put $25 on it. I got the client and I went to work. That was all. Not even understanding the magnitude of this industry and the growth of this industry. You guys, the home cleaning market is expected to reach $40 billion by 2025. Okay? That is less than two years because 2023 is practically over. That is an annual growth of 20%. And I wanted to find this one specifically because it says home cleaning, because the cleaning industry is extremely big. You have commercial, you have a post-construction, you have Airbnb cleaning, you have um, daycare cleaning, you have a movie set. I mean, like the list goes on of how big the cleaning industry actually, you have window, grout, floors, carpet, like all of that is included in the cleaning industry. But this is saying specifically the home cleaning, the market is expected to go to 40 billion. Okay. Oh, this is just a duplicate. My bad. <laughs> right. And how this model works, like very similar to with the Uber drivers and the Airbnb, right, is you partner with professionals. You partner with those that are already doing this work. So that means they have their own equipment. They have their own supply, their transportation, and the knowledge of how this business works, right? That's what makes it so good because you're not having to train them. You're not having to have a lot of startup capital. Y'all, I didn't have any money. Now, yes, you guys heard me that I started off doing all the work myself, and I did. I was doing three to four houses a day. Y'all, I kept my cleaning kit in the trunk of my car and some change of clothes because I never know when a lead was coming through and your girl was not passing up any money, okay? I was like, look here, look here, baby. I'm gonna go drop you off with your daddy. I'm gonna go <laughs> clean this house real quick and I will be back, okay? And what happened was I started to grow and I started turning jobs down. And I was like, well, goodness, how... I need to duplicate myself. I understood that I could not grow my business while working in it. And I remember I was doing this house and I was cleaning these baseboards and there were leads coming through. Not to be rude, I wasn't answering the leads. And calls were coming through. I'm like, hey, can I give you a call back? Right? And the client's like, huh, what'd you say? Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> right? So I knew that I had to duplicate myself for growth, right? I was able to witness my parents and my dad tried to pursue entrepreneurship. I, I saw him try to build something. So I knew that I needed to duplicate myself to really make it grow. So these are just two platforms that I personally use, okay? I'm not, I'm not sharing anything, you guys, that is outside of what I personally do for clients, what I personally teach, or what I personally do. I literally go and look for cleaners on Craigslist, right? Because look, remember, I'm looking for people that's doing this work. So I'm looking for individual that's advertising, like that they are providing a service. And then I'm looking for people that are looking for jobs in this service. So this is Indeed. If you guys are not familiar with this logo. I will play, 
post a job ad on Indeed. And there's other job boards, right? Monster. Uh, <laughs> I can't think of any, but there's others, okay? But I, I specifically love working with Indeed. So Indeed and Craigslist, right? Finding the right professionals. And what you're doing with this model is it's called the referral agency model. This is a model to where you would just be working with independent contractors. You would not be working with actual employees because with employees, you have to provide the supplies and the equipment and uh, transportation and taxes and 401k, like all those, all the things of all the things. And, I'm, and I didn't have the money to do that. So I needed to find a way to be able to have people work for me, but I don't need to give them all the stuff. Okay. So with the referral agency is you find the client, right? So my job is to find the client, find the perfect client in the ideal market that is going to pay my prices for my services. You guys, I was so surprised that that many people actually pay for cleaning services. So now we saw the numbers. So we know that it's a huge market. We know that people are paying a lot of money to um, get cleaning services done, right? So I find the clients, okay? And then I find my cleaner and I marry them together. And just like that Uber model, I pay my cleaner a percentage of the job amount. So just to give you like a high-end example, let's say a job was for $300 and I'm paying my cleaner 50%. That means my cleaner would get 150 and I would get 150, right? Now, yes, that sounds small, but what if you have five cleaners? Now, what if you have five cleaners doing two jobs a day? Aha, uh -huh, right? Now you guys see the growth. We just did 150 times five is 750 times two. $1,500 a day times 30, that's 45K a month. So this is the growth. This is what it looks like. Now, yes, you like Joe Jazz. Those are good numbers, but I don't know if it's going to go that fast. It may, may not, but I have seen extremely high growth rate in the students and myself and my own businesses. You guys, getting two to three cleaners to do two to three jobs, it is not a hard thing, right? I'm going to show you guys some examples um, next, okay? So these are some of my favorite platforms to find clients because these clients, they're actually out here looking for the services. So I don't I don't need to go knock on the door because y'all know me, I'm shy, right? I'm not doing that. I'm not going to go knock on nobody's door. I'm not going to go print no flyers and pass them out in front of Walmart. I'm not going to go do any of that. I'm going to go to the place where they are actually looking for services. So Google, Google ads, Google my business, uh, Google local leads, Yelp. Bark, if you guys aren't familiar with this logo, this is Bark. This is another, um, like a platform like Andy's List, right? Thumbtack is another platform where people will come on to look for these service providers. So remember, with this Uber model, I am the owner. I am the cleaning business owner. This is my cleaner, and this is my client. And this is the nice circle of life. I'm sorry, this is a little, you know, Lion King uh <laughs> thing but y'all get it right so it is forming that perfect circle you guys so in the co clean academy there are students that were just like me that had no idea about running a cleaning business they're like jazza said to try it so i'm gonna try it right and i always want to point this out because some people were like well do i have to clean and I always be like, well, you clean, so do I have to clean? You do not have to clean. That was just in a scenario of a situation that I was in. I believed it was purposeful for me. Now, if God's telling y'all to go clean, look, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to argue with y'all, but you do not have to clean, okay? One, I don't, I don't have this example up here, but one of our clients, um, she is someone that's a busy professional. She works um, in a nine to five. I think she works in the medical field and um, she never cleaned. She never met a client. She never met a cleaner, like nothing of nothing, you guys. And she not only opened up one location that's making 20000 a month, but she then opened up another location, right? And both of them are doing extremely well. So this is a student that has been in the academy for nine weeks, 
or not Midland Academy, but Midland Academy opened up his business and has been open for nine weeks and has done 31K in nine weeks. Okay, Miss Kimmy here, um, she has done 20K in her business so far. Again, not cleaning anything, you guys. Mr. Robert here, he is one of our students as well. He did 11K in two months after launching. So it is so, 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 so doable. And I, I wanted to share that with you guys so you can fully understand and see the big scope of things and how this could actually work, right? This can work for those that are busy professionals. So that way, if you are currently working a nine to five, will it be a little challenging? Yes, but it's not meant to be easy. It really isn't, you guys. And if we're always trying to look for the easiest, fastest, quickest way, then it's not going to show up. Is not. We have a new client and I love her. Bless her little sweetheart. Um, and uh, her first month in business, she did, um, man, what did she do? I think her first, very first month of business, she did like 7,500 and psh, killed it, right? Second month in business was a little challenging and she had some situations pop up with her cleaners, but she, she made it over that hump, right? And she had another situation that occurred uh yesterday actually that i was helping her through and she's like yeah i just don't know if i could do this i was like well do you want a six-figure business well yes well then i guess you better figure out how to do it right it's not meant to be easy this is why we work on ourselves develop ourselves grow ourselves so that way we can take on these challenges because the challenges are going to come Y'all, they're going to come. They, they will be there, trust and believe. If not anything else, the challenges are going to come, right? But it's all a matter of how we see them. If we see them as something that's going to ruin us, as like we just can't take it, can't do it anymore, then that's what's going to happen, right? But if we try to figure out the solution and figure out how to get over that obstacle, then your business will thrive, right? So I've had the CO Clean Academy for a little over a year. We have 600 plus students in the academy. And so many are thriving in the business. I, I'm, I'm really bad at asking for reviews. I just, I always forget like that side of things. Um, but I had, I had just post a post in the group just literally a couple hours ago. And so I'm pretty sure some more had chimed in, but I was just like, hey, has anybody made any profit from this, from this, this course that has been, has this course helped anybody yet? And they just started rolling in because I wanted to show you guys that, Yes, you can be like, well, Jazz, it worked for you, but like, can it also work for me? And I'm telling you guys that this concept does work for a lot of people. So we are I'm in the process of making some changes and really trying to find a way to add more value um, to the community, to our students, to make sure that they can grasp this, the, the, the knowledge and information. And then also, I'm also preparing things for those that are doing well in business, but they're ready to scale. Like they're ready for those strategies to potentially position their company to sell it or franchise it or open up multiple locations, right? Or introduce products to their line, to their, to their business, right? Um, because all of this is totally possible. But in the midst of me making this change, I am making some changes on the actual business side of things as well. But since I had this challenge, I was like, I'm going to offer the best of the best, best deal for those that are on the live and wanting to actually take that leap of faith and see if they can start this crazy cleaning business without having any experience any knowledge, right? That's what the blueprint. I, I have students, Steve, I was talking to Steve and I was like, yo, Steve, you did better than I did, <laughs> right? But that's the plan. That's the purpose is that I could teach those and they can get and jump off way faster than I did my first round. Now I'm opening up another company um, with one of my business partners. And um, I know we're going to outdo those numbers. I so see, I say, Steve, we're going to have a race. <laughs> We're going to have a race. But the point is that he was able to grow his company so fast and learn about this industry because of the information that's shared in the course. So I want to go over this with you guys um, because I do have some opportunities. Um, I do have some opportunities available for those that are interested. And you guys, please continue to drop the questions. I'm going to scan through them and um, go over you guys' questions as well. I see, I see them popping up. I'm not ignoring them by any way, but I know your girl can get a little distracted, okay? And I'll forget where I'm at, all right? But um, <laughs> but I did want to like go over 
to some options with you guys, okay? So the CEO Clean Academy right now, you guys, it is currently in a membership model format. And I've had it this way because I'm constantly adding more and more information and more and more value to the service. And I felt like I couldn't just have it as a one time because it just wasn't, it just wouldn't be, it would just be too much. But I'm currently in the process of restructuring it. Um, so the membership model will be available, but it will not be available to get access to the course itself. So this would be, and this is not, you know, I know people all day be like, last chance, last chance. <laughs> this is not like no marketing gimmick, I promise you guys. Um, but this would be your guys' last opportunity to get into the CEO Clean Academy at the membership rate. And also, I'm giving you guys and knocking it down by $50 as well. So if you guys want to join the CO Cleaning Academy um, and get inside of the CO Cleaning Academy and get access to all the courses and all the information, you can do that with only $47. And I'm going to give you guys a little uh, sneak peek in the inside of it as well. So don't go nowhere. Okay, I know if y'all got dinner on the table, kids probably calling y'all names, all right, it's Friday night. Don't go nowhere because I am going to give you guys a little sneak peek of what's inside of the academy. Because people ask all the time and I'd be like, it's a lot of stuff because it is. I'm continually and constantly pouring in more information and partnering with other individuals to come and teach because we have trainings inside the academy on government contracts, student turnover. We had three student turnover contracts secured by students of over 100K. You guys, they made 100K in, uh, what was it, like a 16-week time frame doing student turnover, okay? Government contract, commercial, post-construction, movie set, Airbnb. I mean, there are so many other cleaning courses inside the CO Clean Academy, you guys. It's, it's ridiculous, okay? Now, I also want to offer you guys this as well because you guys joined me on this crazy challenge that I did. I didn't know how it was going to turn out. I didn't know who was going to show up, but I'm also turning the Academy into a lifetime, one-time offer model, okay? So if you guys are like, yo, Jazz, I'm in it for the long haul. Thanks for offering me that 47. That's super dope. I appreciate you. You're my girl. But I want all the things of all the things forever, <laughs> ever, ever, forever, ever, okay? Um, then I'm also knocking the, the lifetime price down to only $5.97, okay? So this would get you guys in. You guys would be in it like all the things, all right? Um, so it'd be one price of $5.97. I did just drop the links in the chat. Now, the only thing is I don't know if my chat info dropping shows on all the platforms. So for those that are watching on the different Facebook groups and YouTube. If y'all can let me know if you guys see my comment um, or if not, I'll have to like go in and individually place them on those separate comments, okay? So you guys, this price, um, first I was gonna say, I'm just leaving this up for just tonight only, um, but I will give you guys 24 hours, okay? 24 hours, I will give you guys for this price point if you guys want to get in for the CO Clean Academy. It is normally $97 a month, but you can get in at $47. Um, but like I mentioned, if you want to get in, then you can get in for $597, okay? Now, this is something very special that I super love doing. And you guys saw all those logos in the front. These are my done-for-you clients. This is a service that I started offering um, in the very beginning, because people were like, yo, Jazz, I really want this business, but I don't have time. I don't know how to set these things up. Like, I need I need help. Like, can you, can you do it for me? And I'm like, I don't know about that. <laughs> but of course, I'm going to figure it out, okay? Because at the end of the day, right, I'm a business man, right? And uh, so I created this business in a box to where for those busy professionals or busy moms and busy parents, I was like, I want to do this. I don't have the time to do all the things. This is that service where I and my team set up and optimize everything. Your Thumbtack, Yelp, Google, Booking Koala, give you a free website with the SOP. SOP is basically your search, uh, not search engine, that's SEO, sorry. It's your uh, systems of operations, okay? So this is like give you a guide on how to go through situations procedurally, all right? If this happens, what to do with this? If this happens, what to do with this, right? And then I also threw in, um, if you guys are ready or when you're ready, 
um, that you guys VA fees would be uh, waived as well because I do have a virtual assistant company that I do assist our students with their cleaning companies. So for those that are like, like so, so some of the ones I'm talking about, when I say my clients, those are the ones I'm saying because I have a little bit more insight of their business because I help manage their companies and their day-to-day -day operations. But this is a really special service, you guys. Um, this is completely a business in a box where you will be able to learn your business while it's being built for you. And then for those that's like, well, I need the VA too. So then you can literally learn your business while it's being built and while people are literally hiring your cleaners for you at the same time, okay? So inside of the CEO Clean Academy, um, oh, that's weird. Okay, you will get <laughs> the, oh, that's what, it, that's what it was. Okay, I'm tripping y'all. So with the done for you service, you guys, I am going to be throwing in the lifetime of the CO Cleaning Academy in there. Um, so this is like a super double whammy, super double whammy offer. Um, and then also it will come with the No Mop Method ebook. This book, you guys, I really love this book because I don't, I don't really know how to explain it. I, I feel like sometimes when we start business and we do these courses, we forget a lot of the important business information about like KPIs and um, SOPs and actually like positioning our company in the right way to thrive as a company, not just a side hustle. This book is more than just me teaching the concepts of the business, but really teaching on the business itself. Um, so I, I really love this ebook. And then also um, in the month of June, we had a super dope virtual conference where I brought on over 12 speakers to teach all things cleaning industry, cleaning business. I brought on a business attorney that talked about proper foundation. I brought on a tax specialist. You guys, we brought on everybody. Mr. Kendall came and bring, brought so many jewels about how to secure your first cleaning uh, commercial cleaning contract fast. OK, because every time I try, it takes me forever. But he was like, let me help break this down for you. So if you guys are interested in the done for you service um, and like I said, I think I dropped those links, but I don't know if all the links show up in all the platforms. Um, yes. With the membership, you guys, you're not locked in now with, of course, the. Um, the lifetime, like you and you in for life, baby. Okay. <laughs> you pay that one price and you're good. Um, let me see. I think somebody said no link here in Facebook. Okay. I got you. I'm coming through. What group are you in? Are you in the CEO or the God? I'll just go post them on both. Um, but you're not, it's, it's not um, for the membership. You are able to cancel at any time. Okay. Um, we see it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Is it, in the course, does it help with getting grants? So that is my next speaker that I am wanting to, that I'm looking to get with, um, that will teach on grant writing. Um, do I have any information? In I don't. Now, I, I do have information in there about learning how to leverage. You, I have two things in there for, for financial to be able to get access to capital. One is to teach you how to build your business credit. There's a whole personal credit ebook in there and then a class on business credit to teach you how to grow your business credit and leverage that to get access to capital. Because of the way we grow our business financially, right? Um, when the bank sees the money, the bank sees that we got 300 and not 150, right? So we're able to leverage those high profits to gain access to capital. Also, I brought in a financial specialist that taught on insurance policies and the way to leverage these, like uh, like the big ward off people be leveraging them. Um, we actually just secured some as well for our uh, for my VA company. But she taught about how to get a policy that has a high cash value, right? Um, to where that way you'll be able to build up your cash value as well. So those are two different strategies that's taught in there, but. I am looking for a grant writer because I have been asked that question quite a few times. So it is coming. Um, we have a class on, we have two different classes. We have a class that's coming up on Google My Business. Someone's going to come and teach on that. And then we have another follow-up class on student turnover. So I try to do one class or 
well, that's two classes in the month of September. So it kind of just depends, but I, I'm constantly bringing in experts in other areas. I'm not going to never fake the funk. So if I don't know something, I'm always going to find somebody that does, and then they will come and teach inside the academy. So let me post these links, and then I'm going to give you guys an insight of what this what inside the CO Clean Academy looks like. Um, that we're kind of going through some little maintenance and some changes as the preparation for October 1st when everything goes into effect of like the new model and everything. And I'm currently re-recording the course. So the course 2.0 is coming out. But for those that are joining now, you'll still get access to the course and all of the crazy resources that's available. Okay. Let me pull that up and then... Let me go ahead through and ask you guys, answer you guys' questions too. Okay, Facebook, I just dropped the link in one group and I'm going through and dropping the link in the other group. Okay, so y'all should have the links. Let me know if you don't. Let me go through some of these questions. Hey Jazz, I won the 40 session. I won the 40 minute session with you for completing day four. Hey, yes. Yes. Send me an email, love. Send me an email, um, info at CO Clean Academy, and then we'll get that scheduled. Also, can you provide the authors of the name of the prophet to prophecy? The oh, it's my book, it's my laptop stance. <laughs> it is uh uh Dr. Kendrick Bennett. Dr. Kendrick Bennett, you guys, he is, this is the book that I taught the class on, what was it? Was it Monday, Tuesday? Shoot. I don't even know what day that was. But last week I had taught a class um, off of one of the chapters in this book, Mastering Your Blessings. Um, every Monday I teach off of this book. This man actually happens to be also my spiritual leader. He is my pastor here um, in Dallas. Um, at Connect Church Plano. So he is my pastor and this is his book that he wrote. He is also an entrepreneur, um, but it's, it's such a great book. Okay. It's, it's called From Prophecy to Prophets. Um, and yes, and you can get it online. If you, I think if you just Google the name or I don't see the name of who's asking about this. If you'd want to send me an email, I can send you the link too. And then also I was going to start posting the link because I do teach my my church entrepreneurial group um, every Monday as well. So if anybody's ever interested, you guys can totally join those. It's, it's free of charge. It's nothing. It's, we're on Zoom, so it doesn't matter like where you live at. <laughs> you can be in Detroit, LA, Sacramento. Um, let's see. Do you still offer the website templates with the membership? I don't see the link in Circle. Also, am I able to get the forty-seven introductory price since I signed up today? Um. Send me, uh, send me um, an email. Send me an email and I will let you know. Send me an email, info at CO Clean Academy. Is there after pay option for the business in a box? So I have not yet tried to do that yet. Um, I have not yet tried to do that yet for some reason. I don't know. I keep putting that on my to-do list and I've just never done it. Again, send me an email. I'm going to plug my email, you guys, in the comments. And then if I don't have that, I have done payment plan. So just send me a message and we can work it out. Once everything is set up for the business unbox done for you, would we be a part of the academy? With this offer only, yes. If you sign up outside of this offer, no. So if you sign up with this offer, you do get access. You do get the lifetime access with the academy. Um, with doing the business in a box, but normally it would be separate. Uh, do you still offer? Oh, same question. And the website templates, you guys. So I'm going to, so for those that are watching live, okay. And then for anybody that has messaged me, I have said yes, but I have stopped offering the template. Okay. Because for some reason, Wick be tripping, okay, and I ain't got time for the foolery. But for some reason, Wick will allow some templates to go through and then some not. 
And then like we're doing this back and forth thing for weeks and then your girl forget because I get sidetracked and I get busy. And then sometimes people get a little upset in their feelings. And I understand. I don't be meaning to forget. So I just like, you know, I'm just going to cancel it um, because it just was not working as seamless as I desired. And then plus with busy book on the way coming out. Um, with busy book, we're going to be having free website templates along with the membership. So I was like, it's, you know, it's totally fine. And for those of like, what is busy book? I'm currently working on developing a software platform for, um, managing and bookkeeping and CRM of your cleaning company. So for those that hear me talk about booking Koala, it would be my own version of booking Koala. So just had a developer meeting and got a new update on the date. So we're hoping within four to six months, it'll be done. So y'all say y'all prayers because this this one right here has definitely been challenging me. Uh, let's see. Is the course, does it help with, oh, why well, keep answering the same question? Oh, let me just scroll up all the time, all the way. Uh, what is the fair percentage of paying your contractors? Good question. Okay, I hope you're still on the live because this really does matter. There's two things that take to matter on this, right? One is where you're at because what your what your price not where you're at but what you're pricing your services okay um because if you are pricing your services really low even if you did 70 30 is still low right so you want to make sure that you're pricing your services the right price and then you want to make sure that you do your market research and you're pricing your right prices according to the area where you're going to be having your company place for example we have companies that's in North Carolina, those price points are fairly lower than companies that are in LA or Oregon or uh, Denver. One A company in Denver that we have, her prices are doubled than the company in North Carolina, right? And so if you don't do that, that research, you're like, oh, I'll just charge this because I heard this or I seen a post that said, this is the normal price for this. But you have to make sure you're charging right for the market. So you don't want to just go like, oh, okay, I'm in Denver. I'm just going to do this because she's doing that. So you would be losing out a lot of money and you wouldn't be able to get no cleaners. Um, so you want to make sure that your prices are right. That helps with determining your percentage that you'll pay your cleaners. Um, the most average percentage split right now that I'm seeing is 60-40 um, because of the economical shift. And, you know, things is changing and things is costing more. It really was 50-50. There are still a lot of companies that's paying 50-50, though. So it's really up to you. The most common I see is 60-40, but people still do pay 60-50-50. Uh, and then I've even seen some students do a 70-30 split. So the cleaner would get 70% and then you would get 30%. I've been discouraged for months because I don't feel, I don't, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. This is really helpful. I'm so glad. And if you have any direct question that I can maybe help you with, please do if you need any clarity. You guys, this, this path is, is, is not easy, right? But I never said it would be easy. I just said it's doable. That you're going to have your challenges. You're going to have your upset and frustrating customers and clients. But at the end of the day, nothing is, right? Nothing is easy right? You just have to really, I would encourage you to work on building your mindset, work on building, um, having some affirmation and trying to look at things in another light. Like I have this sign in the back of my wall and it says failure. And somebody emailed me was like, why do you have that sign in the back of your wall? I was like, cause I want to, no, I'm playing. Um, but no, for real. Uh, it says failure, the temporary state where the most valuable lessons are learned. That's my most favorite Theme in this room is this sign. It says failure, a temporary state where the most valuable lessons are learned because it reminds me that I'm never a failure, that I'm always learning. But right in front, just people can't see it, it says success. And that definition says the predictable results of hard work, patience, sacrifice, and learning to put into practice every day, right? So this is what business is. And you can't have that. You can't have success without having this. They like best friends. They gonna always be together, okay? Like you really can't have one without the other. And this one is just setting that one up. Like you gotta have this, right? So it's okay. You can be discouraged. Just don't let it halt you, right? It's, it, it becomes dangerous when it halts you, when it stops you from moving forward, when you quit, when you give up. See, you're not a failure until you put it down and you never picked it back up. Right. I used to have this saying to where I would rather try a hundred things a hundred times than to never say I tried anything at all. But in all actuality, 
that was the wrong mindset to have because that just meant that if it wasn't successful in the time frame that I needed it to be, or if I didn't see the results in the time that I needed to be, deuces, I'm out. It didn't work. It wasn't for me. On to the next, right? But it should have been, I'd rather try one thing a hundred times than to say I never tried at all, right? Because I would hate to give up too soon. I, I never know when my break comes, right? James says, do I see cleaners need to work in pairs? If so, do you need to get them to work with each other? Uh, yes and no. So pairs, it's so funny. I just did a training on this. Um, pairs help with like large homes. Like it depends on how you operate. If you operate, um, I personally don't like to do a lot of big houses. Um, I try not to do anything over 3,000 square feet because I don't want to deal with like just the shenanigans, okay? Um and that's just me personally, right? That's the beauty about business. You can run it how you want to run it, okay? But um, but pairs do help being able to get done with jobs faster, and then does being able to get more to do more jobs in one day because you know, of course, two people can clean a house much faster than one person can clean a house. So normally, I like to hire pairs already. Like it's super awesome if they just happen to be a pair, and then I'll ask them like, hey, do you guys mind doing jobs separately as well, right? Now, if you you can put two people together, you can be like, hey, Christina, I have a big house tomorrow. It's 4,000 square feet, five bedroom, three baths. Are you available to do this job with Rebecca? Because she really wants to do it, but you guys will be doing it together. So then you just marry them together. That's it. Um, I can't wait to have my baby so I can put all that in. in my yes, girl. And congrats, too. Um, daycare, I don't know because I don't really like work in the, I just do homes. Like that's my specialty. I love residential. I don't really go into the area of that, but inside the CO Clean Academy, there are, um, Kendall, he is our commercial, our, our, our commercial specialist. So he did lend us his bidding calculator. So in there, that would be able to help you with like trying to figure out your bids. Uh, you have been blessing people. I'm so grateful. You are welcome. I'm glad you found us too, love. Um, let's see. I need to get my... Please, okay? Everybody can get to six figures, you guys. I'm trying to tell you guys, any and every... If you guys have the will to do it, and Kimmy, I'm so proud of her because she attends our weekly um live q a like faithfully always asking questions right or or just listening to get information because you always want to grow in this business right never think at all that you have done enough right there's always more that you can learn okay um and she has struggled and when i saw her share those numbers i was like yes that's so awesome because i know that is just the beginning i know it's just the beginning for her um, let me share with you guys the inside the CO Clean Academy, okay? And you guys remember this, these specials, y'all, is going away, okay? So you will be able to get inside the academy with these low rates, get inside of the uh get inside uh do the business for the business box. And you guys, these prices are going up. So not only like is the structure changing or the done for you. You guys get the deal and get the deal on top of the lowest price, okay? So these price points will be changing as of October. Um, I was talking to my business partner and it was like, you feeling real generous. And I'm like, yes, I am. <laughs> I'm like, it's my birthday. Well, not today. It's my birthday week. Y'all know when people be like, it's your birthday. Look, I celebrate all month long. So I was like, I just want to just really do it really big and celebrate with my community. I'm like, why? Why shouldn't I? Okay. So let me share with this. Hi, I have researched. Um, hi, I have researched my name and registered needs to pay for LLC. Nice. And you guys, look, I love LLC just as the next person. I know what it could benefit those, right? But an LLC isn't the end all be all. Okay. I'm only saying this because if by chance you don't have the budget for an LLC, don't feel forced to get one because everybody and their mama's on online saying that everybody needs an LLC. I would much rather you put those, those funds. Now, if you live in a state to where your LLC is not that much, kudos, okay? 
here in Dallas is 300, right? I would rather you put that 300 towards your marketing in the beginning and then get your LLC later. But if you do have the funds and boo, that's not your struggle, okay? Then you do you and you get the LLC. But I was talking to somebody and they're like, I just got all of this stuff and X, Y, and Z is done, 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 done. But um, I have to wait to start till I get some money to get into marketing. I'm like, oh, baby, you did that kind of backwards. I, I wish you would have said something. So I just want to just encourage for anybody that's listening, because um, I don't want you to feel like you have to, because I understand everybody and their mama is talking about LLC is like, you know, the new gold mine. And it is. It really is. I mean, it's 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 purposeful. OK, so you guys, this is side of the CO Clean Academy. OK, this is like our nice general announcement area. This is where I'll come and make announcements about any kind of upcoming events or any anything I'm trying to share or anything that I'm seeing like a frequently asked question on. I just come drop it in here. Um, if you guys post, if you guys notifications are on, you'll get it notified through the app, text and also by email. OK, so we have the course. Course resources, and you guys, the course resources is like galore of course resources, okay? Then we have our library, and this is like just additional information that I feel like everybody should know, okay? Um, and this is just goes on galore of a list, all right? We have our community. This is our chat where everybody just chats and get helps and advice from people. Our membership schedule. These are all of our past live Q&A trainings that we have had, whether it was myself or I brought on a guest. So any past live Q&A, you guys are able to get access to interviews, the conference. This was our boot camp that we held on last week. And then this is where like the master classes start coming in. Um, we have an actual 10K planning layout training on SEO, sales and automation, Google ads, email marketing, tax strategy, business formation, business insurance, because I see y'all asking those questions in that Facebook group. Er day, somebody's asking <laughs> about business insurance. And I'm like, boo, search it. You guys, use the search button, like for real, for real. I love ask, you guys asking the questions. And I love answering them back. But if you guys could use the search button, I promise y'all would find 90% of what you're asking for. And you can get access to information because your girl, myself, or my team has to approve it first. And I don't know when I'm going to see it. And I hate when I'd be like, oh my gosh, she posted like hours ago. Dang, I could have. So try the search button first. All right, you guys. And then we have like our additional training on commercial cleaning, government contract, student turnover, Airbnb, apartment contracts, movie and film studios, post-construction training. So this is everything, you guys, that is inside of the CO Cleaning Academy, okay? Um, and it's just getting more. I'm just adding more. We're just getting more information. Like I said, we have two trainings coming up this week that will be added. And um, I'm just excited for the growth. I'm excited for everything that has happened. I'm excited for all the students and all the new success. I don't have the library option. If you don't have any option on there, you guys, always feel free to send myself or an admin a uh, an email. Because just like every platform, nothing is perfect, unfortunately. And it does have its isms. So sometimes we can fix it on the back end. And then sometimes we have to escalate it. Uh, we have to escalate it to... Uh, what is it? We have to escalate like to the people that own the circle, <laughs> that owns the actual platform, and then they have to fix it. But most times we're able to fix it. Um, so it would be $47 for your first month, and then it would go to the $97 a month. Or like I mentioned before, you guys could get the lifetime. So the lifetime is just $597 for the lifetime. And it doesn't matter what changes. I'm I'm such a person with integrity, you guys. Like, I'm never, ever going to change the price. Like, once you're in on that price, you're in on that price. Now, if you come in at the membership and you're like, I'm done, and then you come back, you're like, yo, Jazz, I want to come back at the membership. I'm like, oh, boo, I'm so sorry you left. You would have to come in and what you were, you know, where we're at. But, like, once you come in, you're in. I'm never going to be like, oh, you got to pay more because... I just decided to make some changes, <laughs> okay? I definitely don't roll like that. I only have challenge-related links and challenge 
files. Okay, yeah, send me a message um, inside of Circle. Send me a message inside of Circle and then uh, let me know. My Our admin team was also making some updates as well from any person that subscription may have last and we were revoking access to areas. So she could have may have done some things on accident as well. <clears throat> but please send me a message inside a circle so that way I can do that. So the DBA good enough. And so a DBA is definitely not going to replace an LLC, but it is sufficient for the start. Okay. It, that is just basically you letting your, your county and your area know that you are legally operating business in this state. Come tax me, basically. Okay. The LLC is what helps protect, keep your personal funds separate from your business funds. It also helps um, if you're wanting to establish and build business credit. Okay. Because with an LLC, you're able to get a business EIN number and not an EIN number attached, in, uh, attached to your social as a sole prop. How often do you go live in the academy trading? Um, right now, we are currently going live every week. So there's been some holidays and some things has, I think, last Monday. And then we, we had, we were supposed to go live on this Tuesday, but our trainer, he had a death in the family. So we had to push it back. So, you know, sometimes life happens. I always hate to guarantee that, but, you know, life happens. But we try to go once a week. And for those that are just jumping on, you guys, I hope I hope you guys will go back and watch the replay. I don't think we've been on here that. Oh no, we kind of have. <laughs> we kind of have been on here that long, but I, I do hope you guys go back and watch the replay. If you guys have any questions, last question: How do I send a message in Circle? If um, like search my name, and you should be able to like see message or like a little envelope looking thing and then you should be able to send me a message that way so i just want to just go back over this offer for you guys um somebody asked if i have the shoot i can't remember the name of it but i guess it's like the buy now pay later scenarios so if you guys need a payment plan for this option please send me a message, send me an email. I put the email in the chat. I know it's probably scrolled up from there. The email is info at ceocleaningacademy.com or reach out to me in any other way that you can. Send me a DM, pop in my little slide in the DMs. <laughs> send me a Facebook message. However you want, it. you guys prefer to get in contact with me, you can do that. Um, but send me a message. I did, I will also repost the links inside of this chat as well. Um, so like I said, with this offer, you guys, it's only $23.77. It's normally $29.97, and it will be going up, and you will get access to the lifetime, to the course, the MOP, and the conference, all of this, so you'll get access. And like I said, if you want um, if you want to get into the CO Clean Academy, today, first month, will be $47, okay? So you'll be able to get in. And then if you want the lifetime offer, it's $5.97. OK, and the links that I gave you guys, these are these linked prices only. So it's not going to take you to like the main page. OK, so please don't like try to go to CO Clean Academy. You don't see the links um, because like literally this these links were just specifically created for these price points, for this class, for this live, for those that participated in the challenge. And I was going to do this wrap up class Um with everybody. Okay. So let me repost the links and then I'll see if anybody have any last minute questions. And then um, I'm going to like, let y'all be free and we'll wrap up this bad boy. Uh, let's see. Should we email you? Should we email for the payment plan and still pay the Academy or wait? Yeah. Just send me, if you could send me an email right now, that'd be awesome. Cause I say, if you're, if you're doing the, if you're doing the payment plan, I'll just and the academy. The academy comes with the done for you. Okay. Any last minute questions? I super love this platform because I can be live on all the things of all the things and see your guys's comments come in at the same time. So if I haven't like toddle back and forth on my phone, only thing I can't go live on is Instagram and Instagram always be feeling neglected. <laughs> 
But I hope this has been good. Does anybody have any other last minute questions about anything like that we went over during the God Powered Business Challenge or anything on the CO Clean Academy? Um, anything from inside a circle? Anything like that? I'll also be posting the um, busy book link as well. Uh, you guys will see an email come out about this so you guys can get on the wait list um, because for students that are members of the Seal Clean Academy, you guys will get first access. And of course, I got to get I got to throw in some free months for you guys too. We just have, we're just not sure if we're going to do three months or six months. And I think it depends on what level people are at with, where they'll get three months or six months free of the busy book. So can you post the email again? Yes, I sure will. Let's see. My husband was like, you were feeling, he just sent me a message. He's like, you was feeling real energetic tonight. You guys, I was at the spa for six hours yesterday. So I feel like I could conquer the world right now. Okay. I'm like, I needed that so bad. It was ridiculous. Then people was like, are you, are you planning to stay longer? Um, yes, please. And don't, don't, there's no need to ask me that no more. Okay. Cause I'm only, when I feel like it, I'm going to soak in every moment of this relaxation. Okay. I can't. And I think I got a post. I think this is somebody just asked this question on Facebook. So I'll come in and post it. Because I don't think you guys are seeing the con the uh I don't think you guys are seeing what I'm posting in here. LLC covers your income taxes at the end of the LLC covers income taxes. That's that's a question that I don't really think I have the answer to, or maybe because I don't think I understand it, or unless you're just stating and trying just trying to share some tips that I don't really fully 100 percent know. But I do know in the in the academy, we did bring on like an actual CPA tax specialist and a business formation to where like they go over that. Do you run I-9 or contractors on contractors to make sure that they're eligible? Yes. Now I use a company called Gusto. Inside the plat inside the course is like a platform stack where I list out all the platforms that I utilize. Um, so I use a company called Gusto for our onboarding and for payroll. So that kind of helps me weed out the question of, hey, are you able to legally work in the states? Now I'll still ask that question, like just very candid, but um, but of course, like they when they go ahead and fill out their onboarding on Gusto, it'll either ask them, it'll ask them for those, that proper information and documentation. If they have like um, a T a I T I a I T I N number, or if they have a social. So that's, that's kind of what I do on that. Do you know if theme street is compatible that I, oh, there's questions in the group that I guess I didn't even see that. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all probably like, y'all is just tripping. Um, so I don't know that. Well, hold on. It, yes, I do kind of know that. Okay, so Theme Street, that is just like a, a template that would be on WordPress. So you could embed the booking link on that platform. Like there, they do have like an embedding link to where you could just embed that on the website because i use wick the website template that we have for the community is through wick and you can embed it on that one as well now i'm not the you know i'm not the most tech savviest person so i do it in a roundabout kind of way with including a with just putting the link on the button and it reroutes it that way because like i don't know how to do all that embedding stuff like that i'm like i don't know <laughs> Um, I only have the challenge related links. Okay, let's see. Thank y'all for the birthday love. I really do appreciate it. My birthday was on September 4th. Okay, Beyonce shares her birthday with me and I'm so graciously allowed her to do so. <laughs> uh. The money you make have... Oh, yes. The money you make, um, you have to claim on your Yes. So, but you can now, let's say this is not to go outside of my normal realm of knowledge um, because I feel like you can claim it on your, no, let me not even do that. Okay. I, you, I file business taxes. 
<laughs> I file business taxes. Okay. Um, so I file them every year. So that's kind of what I do now. I, there, I think there is some kind of form where you could like the case schedule. I don't know. Y'all don't give me the line and stuff. People are trying to come sue me because I told them wrong info, but it's, they talk about it inside the Academy. And then of course, consult, um, consult a, a CPA and consult a CPA, somebody that's really knowledgeable, especially on business taxes, um, because you want to make sure that you're taking full advantage of your write-offs, right? And then it also depends on like your current financial goals and what you're trying to do, because write-offs are good. But if you're trying to, if you need proof of um, if you need proof, if you need your proof that your business is making money, then you don't want the write-offs, right? Like if you're planning to buy a property, if you're planning to buy a house or a land, right? And you need to show them your W, your, your taxes. When you write that off, you're telling them that your business didn't make that. So you don't need the write-offs if you're trying to do something like that. So just make sure that you just talk to a CPA. And we talk, talk, talk to a CPA, tell them everything, like give them a really good overview of your financial scenarios and your goals. So that way they can give you the best advice. Yeah. If you're buying a house, you do not want to write things off because you're just deducting from how much you're saying you're making. And that's what you're taxing. You're like, you're letting the IRS like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't tax me on all of that because I didn't legally make all of that because I had to pay that off. I had to write that off. That was a loss, right? So, you know, it's a catch-22. But your girl is not a tax specialist either. That's my disclaimer. I'm sticking with it. But um, <laughs> so there are some benefits because like I say, if you're not in that season, then you do want to make sure that you collect in all your money and Uncle Sam is not pocketing everything. OK. All right, you guys, <laughs> it's been about an hour and a half. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for staying on this live with me for an hour and a half. It's been fun. I always love chatting with y'all. Um, awesome. I will keep I will look for it right now. Um, like I said, you guys. This offer is a 24-hour offer only. These links, these little bit.ly links, these little fast links that I shared, they will not work in 24 hours, okay? <laughs> 24 hours, Saturday, this time, tomorrow, they will not work, you guys. Um, and then you guys, of course, y'all going to get in. And like, if y'all want to get in, you know, look, y'all can get in because the CEO Clean Academy ain't going nowhere. Okay. We just getting better, but we're not leaving. So we will always be available for those that's like, yo, Jazz, I super love this. And I love the knowledge and information you're sharing, but just not at this moment. That's fine, love. Please come back and see me when you can, because we will be here waiting for you when the time and the season is right. Okay. But if y'all questioning it, if you're letting doubt seep in, don't miss the lifeboat. You guys, this was a life-changing opportunity for me that has set my family up in ways that I could have never imagined. I thought, I thought, I thought it was coming in another way, y'all. I thought, I thought wealth was coming to me in another way. I would have never thought it was in an alignment with a cleaning business. I would have never thought, especially like that I would launch a software. Like I'm about to have a full software company, like a tech company. Like I don't even, I'm y'all. Did y'all hear me when I said I'm not good in tech? <laughs> don't worry, I'm not. I'm not doing. I'm not doing the coding, y'all. Okay, I done hired real professionals. But like I would have never thought that, you guys, in a million years. So don't miss the lifeboat. Don't let doubt seep in. Don't allow fear to seep in. Be like I know Jazz did it, but I can't. No boo, you can do it too. I promise you, you can. I promise you, you can, you guys. Um, so I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. And then um, like always, I'll see you guys in the groups. If you guys have any other further questions, please feel free to reach out and um, I will get back to y'all as soon as possible. All right. Good night, y'all.